Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So guys, I just want to address something that I see on YouTube um, with Kim and Boo. Kim, I love you guys. I love you. I love Boo. I love watching you guys. But there are times when you're doing pranks. I don't do pranks because my husband does not like pranks. And men are, some men are very thin skin. And you have to be careful. For a, the prank that she did and him, my husband caught me cheating with his son. I think that was a topic. Guys, I would never do a prank like that. Being in, um, being married to a uh, older man, knowing that I think his son and Kim might be in the same age group or yeah, run about there, <clears throat> but I would never, ever do a prank like that. Kim, there's nothing. I don't think that there's anything that, that's wrong with the prank per se, but you should have thought about it before you did it that's my opinion i would have thinking i would i would think about it before i do it because guess what guys men's ego it hurts easily their ego hurts easily so i don't think i would do a prank like that especially with his son even doing a prank like that, I would probably do it with one of his friends or a stranger. Not with his son. Reason B, maybe, he may, and maybe this, this is what he's been thinking, that, okay, this is something that's been going on. I wouldn't be doing a prank like that with a family member. As for me, I wouldn't be doing, doing a prank as, like that, period. I wouldn't be doing it, period. <laughs> But if I was in her shoes, I wouldn't be doing it um, with a family member. Because maybe when he would forgive you with a stranger or maybe with one of his friends or something like that, he's not going to forgive. It's not going to be easy for him to forgive with a family member. And I've seen where Bo had... um posted a video saying that he's thinking about going his separate ways and she go her separate ways. I don't really think that, that a, a, a little prank like that would um should break your marriage. I don't really think that that should break your marriage, guys. I don't think so. And boo, I honestly think that you should give your marriage another chance because come on it's not like you had caught them in bed or anything yes you went in and her leg was on across your son but it was just a prank i think for me if you're a youtuber what you need to do is to set boundaries you set boundaries okay you said all right this and that and whatever we're not supposed to be doing that because i mean being a youtuber you can take all your life and put it on youtube you can't do that but i think you guys should set boundaries where this prank thing is concerned because i've seen a lot of a lot of um youtubers they do some very serious pranks some very serious pranks and I'm always wondering why why they think that they should do pranks like these I mean come on some of the pranks are very dangerous and they still go ahead and they do it so for me this is my opinion Kim I think you should have thought about it long and hard before you do it I know you're sorry because I've seen the video where you have um, posted Stating that how sorry you are and all that. And you can see that you are sorry. But I'm also hoping that this is not a prank that you guys are playing on us. Because to be honest, I love watching you guys. 
I'm a married woman. I've been married for 15 years. And I enjoy watching most of the, the YouTubers that I watch. It's always married couple. Not only married couple, but I love to watch the married couples. And there are a few YouTubers that I really, really like to watch. Especially, I like to watch Klein and um, Nikki. Because I honestly believe that Nikki is the queen of pranks. She, that girl can act. I'm not going to lie to you. She can act. And I love watching her. I also love to watch um, Lovell and Lucy. I watch those. I watch um, Razor Blade TV with, um, I don't remember his name and his girlfriend, but I love to watch them. But guys, I strongly believe that being as a YouTuber and you're putting out content out there, you need to be very careful with the pranks that you're doing. You need to be very careful with your pranks that you're doing because sometimes let me tell you something something sometimes we do some pranks or i see youtuber do some pranks come on i know you want views and i know you want likes and you know you want people to share your video and all that but believe me i don't really think a lot of them worth it it does not work your marriage it does not work your life and all that. I honestly don't think it's worth it. Yes, it gives us a good laugh because sometimes you're having a bad day and you really want to, you know, laugh a little bit. Because a lot of times when I want to laugh, you know, I go and watch Nikki and Klein because I'm always laughing with those guys. I'm always laughing with those guys because Nikki is the queen of prank. I love watching her. But, guys... All I'm saying, we need to be careful what we're doing. Don't let pranks like these cause our marriage to end. And honestly, I don't honestly believe that a, a, a little prank like that should cause Boo and um, Nick, Boo and Kim to break up. I think he should give her a second chance. You know, sit down and talk about it. Stuff like that, but... Let me tell you something, guys. I don't really think that this YouTube world is easy. It's not easy. But it's just, you have to think before you do stuff. Think before you do stuff. Think and ask yourself, is this going to cost my marriage? Is this going to cost me my life? Is this going to cost me, you know, whatever. Just think about it, guys. So, guys, that is just what I wanted to say. So, please remember to like, share, subscribe, tell a friend to tell a friend. And if you're new here, please don't forget to hit that notification bell. So, as soon as I drop another video, you will be the first to, not to be notified. So, guys... Have a beautiful day. Bye. Love you.